Today we will be taking a look at the 2010 Arnold Classic, in particular the two top men, Kai Green and Dr. Phil, Phil Heath. It came down to these two gentlemen. Kai Green was actually the defending champion, he won the title in 09, so he may have had a little bit of a political edge here, and he did get the win. He defeated the doctor, Dr. Phil Heath, and Phil lost one more time at the Olympia to Jay Cutler, and then began the whole Dr. Phil, Phil Heath domination. And of course, he dominated until 2018. He lost to Sean Roden. But before that, guys, you have to admit, it was Phil Heath domination. But I am going to take a look at these two today, because perhaps the doctor did win this event. Maybe he got ripped off. And Kai Green got the political decision because, like I said, he was the returning champion. And as you know, that does help in bodybuilding. This is not a good angle for Dr. Phil, so we'll bring on another one. He looks a little bit more angry here as well. I have to say, Kai Green is at a massive level. He looks like he's 20 pounds bigger than the doctor, Dr. Phil Heath. But, I don't know. Front relaxed position is the only one to go on. As far as the symmetry round is concerned, there's no rear relaxed. So it's pretty much a write off. Let's dive headfirst into the muscularity round, beginning off with the front double bicep pose, in which case the doctor has a huge advantage. The first thing I notice is the domination in those forearms of Dr. Phil. Those are huge. And when it comes to the word huge, look at Kai Green's gut. He is bigger than the doctor each and everywhere else. But the flow, the aesthetics, and I can't believe I'm saying that when it comes to Phil Heath, is far greater than Kai Green. Kai Green is just a bigger, meaner looking monster. But sometimes the big giant monsters, such as Marcus Arul, don't always win the competition. Dr. Phil. Muscle separation here, he appears to be in much better condition from this shot anyway. Definitely gets the Duke. Now the front lat spread is the opposite. This is structurally speaking a Kai Green pose for sure. Now this is, I didn't size these guys in case you're going to criticize me. This is an actual on stage picture. Kai Green, he ducks down, he leans way back. So I'll bring up one that I sized. And he is shorter than the doctor, but when he does his poses, he gets even shorter. And I always take the time to scale these guys. If I can find two pictures of them standing side by side, then that's what I do. The doctor actually looks pretty good when you look at the quality of each and every muscle, the arms, the chest, even the lats. Better than Kai Green in that aspect. But the overall flow, the shape, just how Kai Green has filled out his lat region much, much better. And in bodybuilding, that counts. I mean, if Phil was just destroying Kai in the conditioning, then you'd have to give it to the doctor. But that's not the case, especially when you look at Kai Green's legs. I mean, my soul. Definitely a Kai Green pose. All right, let's go to the side shots. And I'm interested to see who's going to win these ones. And I have to say, if you were going to avoid looking at the midsection, which some of you do, I will say, some of you do, come on, admit it, then I would give this to Kai Green. He is just destroying Phil in the legs. He's beating him in the arms, if you can believe that, and even the chest. And that's the most important part. But at the end of the day, I am dinging Kai Green because of his great big gut. Now, the doctor has a little bit of a gut, too. Could the doctor be pregnant? It is a definite possibility. But if he is, then Kai Green is pregnant with twins. Maybe triplets. But Dr. Phil, in all seriousness, does get the point here. The side tricep also will be going to the doctor. Guys, depending on how the back shots go, this could be Phil Heath domination, as always. That should be his nickname, shouldn't it? Phil Heath domination? Either way, guys, this is an easy win for him. Look at the tricep development alone. I mean, that's enough, is it not? It's lowly inserted, whereas poor Kai 
genetically speaking, he battles with a with a pose like this. Much like a Ronnie Coleman. It's a very striated tricep, so you can't get upset with the guy. I mean, it is what it is. But you can't get upset at a judge for giving this one to Dr. Phil. Like you give the front lat spread to Kai Green because of the structure. Same thing, vice versa. Dr. Phil scores a point in both side shots. Now for the test of conditioning. Look at those lower backs and those glutes. Both men not messing around whatsoever. I don't think I've ever seen these two be compared like this, whereas Kai is every bit as conditioned and thin-skinned as the doctor. You guys notice that? Look at those hammies. As Louis Marco says, hammies, baby, please. And the glutes, pretty much right on par with each other, as well as the lats. Kai may be even a little bit better striated in the lats. It's not a mandatory shot, but I mean, if it's overwhelming in the conditioning, I do definitely take that into consideration, a major consideration. But these guys are both here to do battle for sure. Let's have a look at the rear lat spreads, in which case I am very disappointed in the doctor's width. He has some depth in the traps. Of course, it looks fantastic, three-dimensional. But compared to the big, wide Boeing 747 jet, of Kai Green, not very impressive at all, but it's not like it's a total victory for Kai Green either. He is definitely losing in the traps when you look at the from the upper traps even to the lower traps. Dr. Phil has more depth, Phil looks better in the arms, might even be tighter in the glutes in this shot. Hard to say, really, but I don't know though. It's a, it's a thing about width here, if you ask me. Kai Green does look a whole lot wider. I prefer to see a little bit of the Christmas tree in Dr. Phil. Oh man, this is a tight one. I'm going to go with Kai Green just slightly in the rear lat. But it is definitely no domination. Rear double bicep, this is a close one as well. Kai is out angling him. This I never put this one together. This is an on-stage pitcher. And there was only several... I like to use the ones that I can, of course, but I mean, it's you're almost better off setting them up yourself because the camera is only going to be straight on for one guy. And when I have a look at this version here, the doctor actually appears to be tighter. Could it be as he is posing, he is getting in better condition and Kai is getting softer? I don't know. Have a look at the rear lat and the hamstrings. They look tighter for Kai Green. Let's have another one here. The aesthetics appear to be better for Dr. Phil. I don't like like the the hind end, the hind quarters of Kai Green. They're basically stuck in his back. Look how long legged of a creature he is. And Dr. Phil has a decent length of his legs as well, so Kai Green is a freak of nature. If I give Kai Green an edge in the rear lat, I'm gonna give Dr. Phil an edge here. He's better in the arms, and like I said, in this comparison, he does look a little drier. And before I get a comment saying, Are you crazy? How is Dr. Phil better than Kai Green in the arms? I can hear it now because one of Kai's arms, that does look huge there, triceps, biceps. But Dr. Phil has a better delt, and look at the forearms. Don't ignore those forearms. It's a more complete set of arms, I should say. The ab and thigh, I could honestly see... You guys split 60-40 with this one, and I can pretty much tell how you guys are going to judge, which way you guys are going to go, and it's it. it's funny, because it's never going to be 99% for all of you guys. It's about tastes, about flavors, I mean, sure, sometimes it's obvious when a guy is winning in a shot, but this one here could honestly go either way, and it's best to pick a judge that you agree with. The aesthetic nature. I think Kai Green is better in this one. I like his his V taper is not bad. He has a wide waist, but he has giant set of lats. And those legs, the quads, the feathering, that's the icing on my cake. So I give this one to to Kai Green, but I would not argue and say, Oh, Phil deserves the win. In the most muscular, however, I do believe that Dr. Phil would walk away with the victory in this one pretty much every time. Although, food for thought, Kai Green in this hands-on hips 
Variety does look fantastic. It's his best bet. But you know the judges are looking for, at the end of course, this comparison. The crab most muscular. And this is negative points for Kai Green. I can't explain why he, he fades away. He shouldn't even hit it. He should do an alternative. But man, oh man. And Dr. Phil looks fantastic in this. So he really is... Rubbing it, rubbing it in the face of one Kai Green. So the doctor, in my opinion, gets the most muscular. So what does all this mean? It doesn't mean a darn thing. It means that it was close enough between these two, in my opinion, that there really is no argument. Could have went either way in the Abanthai. Could have went both ways in actually both side shots, depending on what you prefer. So really, I have no argument. I did vote for Dr. Phil. He won by a couple of tight points. So really, like I said, no argument. Kai Green is the 2010 Arnold's Classics champion. But I went ahead and gave the victory to Dr. Phil. Doesn't really matter. Hope you guys enjoyed this little comparison. Let me know who you think is better in the comments section below. Based on these comparison pictures, of course. Hit thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe. Have a great day.